Hey lovelies, in today's video I will be showing you a powerful treatment that you can do on your hair or your daughter's hair that will leave it super moisturized. Ako, cha. Oh, if this is something you might be interested in, cha, you have to keep on watching this DIY. Just watch now. You will see what I mean. Ako, <laughs> if you want to grow your hair, you watch it to the end. You understand? So please keep on watching. Ako. Welcome to my channel guys. I'm going to be starting with two tablespoons of my flax seeds for this recipe and I'm also going to be using two tablespoons of fenugreek seeds and two tablespoons of cloves guys and fermented rice water. This rice water has been fermenting for about three days or so and onion and garlic and lastly we're gonna use our moringa powder two tablespoons of that i think three tablespoons so yeah guys this is what i will be doing i will be adding all of this into my ingredients guys so just keep on watching to see how i mix all of this to make my powerful treatment all right so i'll be starting with the rice water now this rice water has been fermenting for three to four days all right um so that is what i will be using for this recipe but if you don't have the rice water you can only use water guys just use tape water all right so i'm gonna be using like five cups um of the rice water and then i'm going to be using cloves two tablespoons of cloves to make my moringa hair mask for hair growth guys so i'm going to put that in and next up i will also be putting my fenugreek seeds um and also i will be putting my flax seeds in there now flax seeds i actually used three tablespoons not two but three tablespoons of the flax seeds all right guys so next up i'll be adding my onion and garlic now onion is very good because it actually helps to thicken up your hair and to regrow your hair back so that's why i'm including onion all right guys so i will be boiling this on medium all right to high and then when it becomes like jelly like this then i will turn down the stove all right guys so because i don't want it to be too thick i just want it to be a watery consistency not to be like a thick gel because mixing it with the moringa it will be a little bit hard for you to mix it when it's a bit jelly so um this recipe is moringa hair mask for hair growth recipe all right guys now moringa is packed with benefits and for this moringa recipe i won't be, be using moringa only that's how it's going to be powerful this is packed with fenugreek flax seeds cloves so this is a very powerful treatment guys that you can use uh, once a week on your hair and of course you wash it out all right so you can actually use this as a pre pull before you wash your hair and then you stay with this for about an hour and then after an hour you wash it out then you deep condition your hair so you can use this as a pre pull but guys i really love how it makes the hair feel it leaves the hair very very soft and moisturized so right now what i'm doing i'm just mixing up the ingredients now when you're mixing this up you need to really have a good mixer i'm going to show you what i'm going to use when i'm going to mix this moringa hair mask for hair growth i'm going to show you guys don't use a fork i was actually using a fork but it didn't really work because um i didn't like the consistency after mixing it all up so i'm gonna show you exactly what i used to mix it up so that it will become soft so i used the mixer for uh, that i normally use to mix up my things i'll show you what it looks like like this this is the mixer that i used so it will make the mixture a bit soft all right now i'm going to be using castor oil you can use unrefined or refined it's just castor oil 
<laughs> all right so i'm going to use one tablespoon of the castor oil like what i've told you castor oil is very very good especially if you add it into all of your treatments you're going to see a change with your hair so this is my moringa hair mask for hair growth uh, my moringa hair mask recipe that you can do this is packed with nutrients you guys i'm not even kidding and also i'm going to be adding lavender essential oil um yeah because this uh moringa hair mask treatment is going to touch the scalp so if it touches the scalp the lavender essential oil actually helps to improve blood circulation on your scalp guys so yeah this is what the moringa hair mask for hair growth is looking like it's very very silky and very yummy Ak. all right guys so we're gonna talk about the benefits of moringa uh, for hair growth now moringa is a remedy for hair loss as it contains proteins vitamins and minerals that help to protect cells from damage vitamin deficiencies and hormone disturbances can lead to hair thinning and eventually hair loss moringa helps to restore those lost vitamins and gives lives to the damaged follicles this leaves the hair and scalp feeling rejuvenated now this is my daughter's hair you guys um and i have been trying to do her hair every other day but you know with children child you can't keep on saying come let me do your hair every day but <laughs> i would really love to do her hair every night like uh yesterday i actually massaged his scalp with an oil and spray the cloth and the chickpeas and the fenugreek spray on your hair so, so i'm trying to be consistent with what i am doing to her hair and her hair is actually getting fuller and which i'm happy about so i'm going to apply it on your hair now if you're applying this moringa hair mask on the hair don't apply it on dry hair because if you're applying anything on dry hair it's not really going to penetrate your scalp guys so just just be just be mindful of that uh, because dry hair doesn't absorb anything you're just sealing in the the dryness so make sure that you're spraying uh, water or any kind of spray and then you add the moringa hair mask now moringa contains many of the essential vitamins that we need to maintain good hair health hormonal imbalances and the uses of birth control pills can cause issues with our vitamin intake which can lead to hair thinning and hair loss now we're gonna take a look at the individual vitamins and their role in keeping our hair looking healthy now uh, moringa has got vitamin a if you want healthy looking hair then you need to make sure you are getting enough vitamin a in your diet now moringa is not only for hair you can actually consume it as well and if you want me to do a video on how to make moringa tea you can comment below in the comment section and then i will make that video for you guys now this vitamin is responsible for cell production in the body which leads to new hair growth so if you don't have enough vitamin a in your body you're not going to get new cell growth you see so you need vitamin a now inadequate levels of vitamin a in the body can cause hair loss because that vitamin a actually helps guys uh, it's responsible for the production of new cells in your body so if you don't have enough vitamin a no new hair is gonna come out you're actually going to lose more hair but you can avoid this by adding moringa into your diet or applying a product that contains moringa directly to your your hair so this can actually stop hair loss or prevent hair loss if you are applying moringa on a regular basis guys because vitamin a is very essential for the production of cells in your body now moringa also contains zinc which is known to stimulate hair growth and additionally help with the regrowth guys um, extreme zinc deficiency leads to hair loss and hair thinning which is why it's important to correct the issue straight away now vitamins deficiency can escalate and lead to health complications adding moringa to your routine can help prevent that so guys it's i would advise you to start 
eating the moringa powder you can actually add it into your smoothies as well um you can also add it to your teas um i was actually thinking of doing a video on how to make moringa tea for hair growth if you want me to do that video please comment below as i've said before and i will show you how to add these uh powerful ingredients in your diet because it doesn't really make sense to add these uh powerful ingredients to your hair if your body is lacking uh vitamin a zinc and all these uh, vitamins and you're just adding it to the hair so you need to also eat it as well to consume it so that your body can produce enough vitamins to help out with your uh with the production of new cells in your body to also help out with hair loss from within um guys thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed watching this video please give me a big thumbs up and comment below um and start using moringa now i don't use moringa like on uh on a regular basis but i make sure that once every at the time i am including moringa in my uh treatments as well because i find out that moringa actually helps to soften the hair it's very very good especially if you wash it out you can literally see the change immediately after using it so i really love moringa guys um if you want me to do any video in the future please comment below guys and let me know which video you'd want me to do but here my daughter's hair is getting fuller and i really love how her hair is um doing so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye for now